I pruned it back, as you can see, and it re-sprouted. And now I'm conducting this re-sprout, this new branch, into and up the wood structure. Forget about sustainability. You want to enrich ecosystems. Every bean is equipped to live a positive energetic balance. Keep it pruned. We are cultivating abundance. Not a problem to cut down trees. The problem is not planting them. What's up, YouTube? Today I want to talk to you about passion fruit pruning, how to maintain it organized and not, it be, not let it become a huge mess. So passion fruit is a vine. It, it's very vigorous and it can grow really big. It climbs really tall trees and it can just tie around itself and just tie everything around itself. And it can become a really, really big mess. And if it does become a huge mess, it's going to have a smaller production and you're never going to be able to, to prune it back to an organized state. Then you're going to need to do radical pruning in order for it to re-sprout so that you can conduct it properly. So we need to conduct it properly since the very beginning. So take a look at this plant here. This actually was a plant that was very, very messy. It was climbing all over this place, all those trees. It was all the way up there and it was there was this huge mass of of the of, of its branches around this wood structure here. So what I did is here's where its main stem is. So I pruned it back as you can see and it re-sprouted and now I'm conducting this re-sprout, this new branch, into and up the wood structure. So here's the thing about passion fruit. You need to have a main stem for it, which is this one for me. And then you're gonna have the secondary stems, the secondary branch, and then you're gonna have the, the, the third order branches. These are, are the ones that you want to these are the ones that are going to produce. So what we usually do is allow it to reach the top of your structure, which could be a wood structure or it could be a one wire structure that works pretty well as well. And so once it reaches the top, you're going to allow it to produce two secondary branches. So from the, the main stem, you're going to allow it to produce two secondary branches. So I've got one here which is this one, and one here. For my part, actually, I only need one secondary branch because the reason you'd want two is if you had structure for it to go that way and the other way. So if, if this wood structure continued towards that way, then I would need the, secondary, the second secondary branch to go that way. But since I don't have that structure, I'm actually only going to use this one as my, my secondary branch. So what I need to do is to make sure it stays on the structure. So it's starting to want to go a different way. So I'm going to convince it to stay here. I can tie it up a little bit in a bit. Um, and then I'm gonna conduct these third order branches. I want them to come downwards. This is what they're gonna do when they start growing and they increase their weight with fruit set. Let's see if it stays proper. All right. So now I want them to, to grow like this, right? And they're gonna go downwards. So it's gonna be like a curtain. I'm gonna have all these third order branches just coming down and I'm gonna prune them before they reach the floor because I don't want them to reach the floor. As passion fruit produces in new shoots, I can prune these third order branches every year after every production, and they're gonna produce new fruits and new shoots and, and also new fruit. So um, we don't want things to get very messy here, like I mentioned you. So I've got these other branches that are coming here on the side. 
I've got nothing against them. They can stay, but these two are way too close together. I don't want them to start tying each other, so I'm going to let this one go. And there you go. I have something a bit more organized. And I have to be very careful so that this one doesn't start tying itself around the main stem. That's something I definitely don't want it to do. So I'm actually going to take out some of these new structures. And there's this one here, which actually is a secondary branch coming from the main stem on a lower part before it reaches the structure. I can leave it, no problem, because it doesn't bother me here. But what I will do, since it's already pretty far down, I'm going to prune it. And there's another one over here. I can maintain this one as long as it doesn't become too messy. So you see, it's all about not letting the plant become too messy and focusing on that secondary stem that's going to be tied to the structure where you where you maintain the passion fruit and then allow the passion fruit to focus all its attention and energy into these third order branches which will be the most productive ones all right so i hope that made sense for you and i hope it helps you with your passion fruit production Passion fruit is an amazing plant because it's uh, it's highly productive. There are many, many different species of passion fruit. Not species, but not only species, but varieties. And it's a delicious fruit. You've got sweet passion fruit. You've got sour passion fruit. You've got passion fruit that tastes like garlic. It's really an amazing plant and it's a beautiful plant. It's got beautiful flowers. So it's definitely something for you to have in your tropical agroforestry. So I thank you for watching. And I'll catch you in the next video. This is Felipe for the Agroforestry Academy signing out.